In this video, I'll be working through the question you see on the screen here. It's from the 2024 Leaving Cert exam honours level paper one. If you're looking for a different question from that paper, you should be able to find a playlist in the description below. I'll be doing all this on a whiteboard, hopefully so it's similar to what you're used to your teacher doing. But it's we're not in a classroom, we're on YouTube, so take advantage, pause, rewind, stop, rewatch, all those things you can do on YouTube. If you find this video useful or any of my videos, I would greatly appreciate a like, a subscribe, and what helps most is sharing it with a friend that's doing the Leave a Cert or one that's going to do it next year. Question one starts off with this equation here that has a square root in it, and they want you to solve for n. They tell you n is a natural number, so we don't have to worry about uh, any complex numbers appearing here. So how do we do this? Uh, the first thing I would do is something you have to be very careful of doing square both sides. Now you could be very careful when we square both sides. For example, if we had minus three equals three, this is a wrong statement. But if you square both sides, you suddenly get a correct statement. So we need to be careful here. But uh, for now, we'll be careful later. We'll check our answer later on. Let's square both sides first. Uh, the left side squared, we get n squared minus six n plus nine, three n's and n times three gets the six n. Uh, the right hand side squared, the square root just disappears. So we're left with this. Let's clean all this up, move it all to the left side. We get n squared uh, minus six minus three is minus nine n um, plus eight. Uh, yeah, nine minus one equals zero. So we can go ahead and uh, factorize this. It does work out quite simply. Uh, n times n, two numbers that make eight and uh, multiply to make eight and add or take away to get nine. Uh, 8 and 1 seems to work. Um, if they're both minus, they'll multiply it for a plus and they'll take away from minus 9. So we get two answers here. n is equal to 1 and n is equal to 8. If you leave it as this though, you're going to lose a mark. I uh, probably lose a couple of marks there. Um, so, so what do you do? Let's test our answer. It's something we should do on every question. Test your answer. n equals 1, n equals 8. Let's test this one first. If I put it back in here, does it make sense? 8 minus 3 is 5, let's write here, 5, um, 3 8 is 24, 24 plus 1, square root 25. This one makes sense, that's good. Let's put 1 in, uh, 1 minus 3, minus 2. I, you can stop here if you want, because minus 2 could never equal the square root of something. So I could stop right there, but let's continue on. Uh, 3 1's are 3, plus that square root of 4, minus two is equal to. So this one's not right. So you have to tell the examiner that's not right. Just if they see something like this written, or if they just see an extra, you're fine. But still show them why you taught that, even write in English why you taught that. For part B, they asked us to write these two expressions as a single fraction. Uh, to do that, we just need to find a common denominator and the easiest one, well, I don't see one, um, a tricky one. So the easiest one is to cross multiply. Um, so on the left hand side, we'll have four times 12 T and on the bottom row, we'll have two plus one times 12 T. So we're, we're being equal here on the left. Same way, sorry, minus, uh, same way here on the right. We'll have seven multiplied by two T plus one divided by 12t multiplied by 2t plus 1. So the bottom rows now become the same, and uh, this equals over here, we'll have on the top 48t um, minus 14t minus 7. All that is over whichever one of these you want, 12t, 2t plus 1. Uh, that, I guess that's technically the answer they want, but we should clean it up a little bit. Uh, 34t. 48t minus 14t minus 7 over 12t, 2t plus 1. Um, that seems way too simple for a part B question, so I'm not sure if I'm misreading something uh, because I don't have the marking scheme in front of me. So apologies if I've done something terribly stupid here. Uh, let me know in the comments if, um, if I've done something wrong. Anyway, on to part C. In part C, they ask us to solve this uh, three variable simultaneous equation in x, y, and w. There's three equations, three unknowns. This is a lot more difficult than um, your when you have uh, two equations with two unknowns. But still, it's not too bad, this one. They've set it up so it's be neat enough for you. So here's what you do. You pick any two lines you want, and you destroy something. 
Um, and they've set it up so you can only, if you pick the first and the second, the only thing they have in common is the Y. So you can only destroy the Y. If you pick second and third, they have the W in common, you can destroy that. Uh, first and third, they have the X in common, you can destroy that. And no matter what you pick, we're going to pick the first two. So we're going to take the first two and we're going to get rid of Y's. And we're going to be left, th these two are going to create a whole new equation with an X and a W. And that's the same as the third one. They have an X and a W. So we'll be able to solve for X and W once we've done that. And the same is true no matter which two you pick. So uh, you can do this question, um, I guess, three different ways. Uh, I'm only going to do it one way because it's quite long and messy. So apologies for that. It's the same theory both ways. Okay, so let's take the first two lines uh, up here. We'll write them again. Um, we'll have x plus 2. Actually, no, I won't write them. Uh, yeah, I won't write them again. I'll write the first one again. 143. The second line. Now, let's go ahead and multiply this by 2 to get the, the y's to match up. So we'll get a 2. Let's write it underneath here. Uh, 2y uh, plus 6w is equal. Um, let, me, let me go to my notes because I'm bound to make a mistake here. 148, sorry, minus 140. See, I'm bound to make the mistake. I will say these, this, this type of question, oh, it's my worst type of question. I know how to do it, but I always make a slight mistake somewhere. But um, so that's why I'm gonna use my notes heavily this time. Okay, let's combine these two. Let's uh, take the top one minus the second one. So the top one uh, will be left with an X. This minus this, that'll disappear. Um, 0 minus 6w is minus 6w. On the right hand side we'll have 143 take away 148 and that gets, sorry, takes away minus 148. That gets 291. So this gives us a brand new equation to work with. We've combined the first two lines to this new equation. Let's put, use it with this one. Um, I will write them both again this time. The third line is, uh, is this with this brand new one. And we have x minus 6w equals 291. So now we're, we've just gone back to a simple um, simultaneous equation that you've done since junior cert. Let's, uh, let's multiply the second line by four to match these x's. So we get 4x uh, minus uh, 24w equals, at uh, this times four is 100 and 1,164, and uh, let's combine the top line and this line. So what we do, we'll say this one minus this one, just to keep the number positive here. The x's will disappear. Uh, this one minus uh, five, so minus 24 minus uh, five would be minus 29 w's is equal, uh, this minus four is 1,160. Um, w equals 1160 divided by minus 29. Uh, put that into a calculator, it's not obvious it goes in evenly, but it does, thankfully, minus 40. Up till this point, you sh probably should be worried. These numbers are massive. Um, and that's the problem with three variable uh, simultaneous equations. The numbers can get weird and, and massive. Um, so until we got an even number, now we should start feeling a little better. Oh good, I got a nice even number here. Now, I've planned this terribly. I have no room left. Let me try and squeeze some things in here. So now I know what W is. Let's, uh, let's pick this line here and find X. So we get 4X uh, plus uh, 5 minus 40 is minus 200 equals 4. That's uh, 4X is equal 204. That's x, is it goes in 50 and another one, 51. Let me check my notes, yeah. That's x, and um, now we know x, let's find y. Here's the top line here. We will get uh, 51 plus two y's is equal 143. Two y's is equal, let's take this away. Uh, oh, what's that, uh, 93, 92. Again, check my notes, yeah. Uh, y would equal 2 divided by 92 is 46. There are your three answers um, equals W. There's another answer and here. Um, write them all out at the bottom of your question. Uh, just one second, let me just triple track that. W is minus 40 
Um, X is 51, uh, Y is 46. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, if you have any questions in that uh, question, let me know in the comments below. I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.